Okay, so you guys power up your laptop and you find out that your display, your screen, doesn't come on. Well, I'm going to show you three possible solutions that you can do right now. So why don't we go ahead and get started. The first thing you guys want to do, and this, is going to, this first step is going to help 50% of you guys, is you need to drain the excess static out of your computer. And how do you do that? First thing is first, what you want to do is you want to flip your computer over and you're going to have a you want to pop out your battery. So go ahead and pop out your battery and flip your laptop back over your AC adapter. You want to make sure that it is unplugged and we call this first method, we call it the 31-2. Basically it's, uh, you, it's 30 second, one minute, and then two minute. So first thing you try is the to drain all the excess static. And the thing is like most of you guys are doing this but you're not draining it 100%. So you need to drain it 100% for it for for your actual display to power back up. So first thing is everything that the battery's out, the AC adapter's unplugged and you hold this down the power button here you hold it for 30 seconds. Hold it down for 30 seconds. Once 30 seconds is up, you can go ahead and pop in the AC adapter and then push on the power, see if the display comes on. If it doesn't, now you want to go with the one minute. Again, unplug the AC adapter, AC cord, hold down the power button for one minute. Once one minute is up, plug the AC adapter back in and push power. And if your display still does not come on, then you want to do it for two minutes. Again, unplug the AC cord. You got to do that. And you got to hold, then you got to hold this down for two minutes. Hold it down for two minutes. Once the two minute is up, you simply pop in your AC adapter again, you push on the power, and hopefully, for 50% of you, your display is going to be back up and running. However, if you did all those three steps and it's not working, let's do the next thing. And this is going to solve about 20% of your problem. Basically, the issue is going to rely on you guys, and I don't have the actual tool to take this out, but it's your RAM stick. One of your, one of your RAM sticks is bad. So what we simply need to do is pop open this back and you, you'll, you'll see your RAM slots. You can easily pull, pull them out. What you want to do is you want to leave one in, pull one out, leave the other one in there and take the one out and put it in the other slot and you want to power up your computer. If that doesn't work, shut it off and switch RAM sticks, put it in a different slot, vice versa, keep playing with that. And if none of those work, hopefully you have another RAM stick laying around because it's possible that both your RAM sticks could have went faulty at the same time as well. Like I said, that'll, that'll help 20% of you. Now for the third and the last step, is what you want to try to do is you want to hook up your monitor to your HDTV or your external monitor. Basically what you can do is this, for instance, like you can see here I have an HDMI port, so basically I can hook this uh, laptop to a monitor that has a HDMI port or my HDTV. Also with some of your laptops, you may be, if you have like a VGA port, you'll be able to hook up that, that, uh, that onto a VGA monitor. Now the thing is, a lot of your computers will not sync right away, so what you have to do is push one of the toggle keys. For example, this computer here, you would push like F10. Uh, for you guys, it may be the F11 or the F3, but it depends on your computer model, so look up your computer model if, you're, if your computer doesn't sync right away to the external device and see what toggle key you guys have to use. Now the thing is, if your external monitor, your HDTV, does come on, then the likely issue is your backlight inverter. And that's pretty easy to replace, but you do have to crack open the computer. Uh, but there's a lot of other YouTube channels you can see how to do that exactly. But if you guys have any further questions or anything, comment in the bottom and uh, subscribe. Thanks, bye.